It's a bizarre tale that has the whole neighborhood talking. No one knew what had happened to her. A senior citizen seemingly vanishes into thin air. It's a mystery. But then, two years after she disappears, a gruesome discovery. What is your emergency? Uh, so, it, I just called to report this. I didn't know exactly how to do it. A stunning hidden find. Does it point to foul play? It's very troubling to think that that could occur right in front of us and we never noticed. Mary Cerruti. She's quirky, eccentric, but loved by her neighbor. She was a very nice, very thoughtful woman. Mary lived alone with her cats in this 1930s bungalow in a historic neighborhood in Houston, Texas. The neighborhood's called The Heights. It's a place where, you know, young families live. It's a little bit of an artsy neighborhood, I think. Sadly, the charming cottages that dot the quiet street are becoming extinct, replaced by hulking apartments built by contractors with dollar signs in their eyes. The um, apartments were being built around Mary's house, literally in a U shape. Mary was not happy with the new developments and even voiced her concerns at a meeting of the Houston Planning Commission. I think the character of the neighborhood will be uh, damaged. But Mary's complaints would go unaddressed. A little more than a year later, she disappeared completely. Where did she go? One of the neighbors told me that they had gone by her house and they had noticed that a window had been broken out and a light was on and they had called the police. When cops came to investigate, they were hit by a horrifying smell. The stench was apparently unbearable and it was attributed to the cats. Mary's eight cats were dead, but there was no sign of Mary. The police didn't seem interested in following up on it. There was no movement on the case at all. Mary's house went into foreclosure. Detectives working the case theorized that since she was going to lose her house, Mary most likely walked away. I didn't think that was likely at all because she had even refused the payout to move away from her home. A few years pass and the house is sold to a real estate developer who spruces it up. A new tenant moves in and it was while exploring the attic he makes a shocking discovery. What is your emergency? Uh, so it's, I just called to report this. I didn't know exactly how to do it, but I just moved into this house and I found between two of the walls, uh, I found a human skeleton. The new tenant was so in shock, he waited a day to call 911. He was worried about alarming his wife. Even the operator on the other end seems shocked. Did you find the head of the whole body, Mr. Muller? There's more than just the head. It looks it's like a It's more than the head. We have emergency units dispatched to your location. They noticed that there was a floorboard loose, and they looked down uh, beneath the boards, which was uh, between two walls, and saw her skull and some other bones and tattered clothing. Roxanne knew immediately that it was the remains of her sweet neighbor who disappeared two years before. How did Mary end up stuffed between two walls? Was she the victim of foul play? Was it a tragic accident? It was very sad to think that she had died alone in her house. Houston detective Timothy Fay was one of the first on the scene. There wasn't a whole lot left of the remains, unfortunately, when we started pulling them out of the wall. Quite a number of bones, uh, some clothing, a couple pairs of tennis shoes were inside the cavity as well as in eyeglasses. Then, after inspecting broken floorboards in the attic, investigators can only conclude Mary died in a tragic accident. It's literally like standing on this, almost the second floor of a house and having the floor just yanked out from under you without any warning. But Mary's neighbor still doesn't buy that theory. I would love to have an explanation as to how investigators seem to have so casually dismissed this as an accident. How could a human fall into an eight inch space? I just don't see it. If it wasn't an accident, how did Mary die? I think there's a very real possibility that she was murdered. Roxanne now speculates why her friend might have been a target. Perhaps they broke in to rob her and things went wrong. And sadly, Roxanne's own theories or questions can't even be answered. The bones had all been really badly damaged by animals chewing on them and dragging them away. So the autopsy report couldn't show the cause of death or the manner of death. I am not able to say definitively she was not murdered. However, uh, I don't have enough to say that she was murdered. 
So the truth about Mary Cerruti's strange death may forever remain a mystery. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.